All right, so I saw that uh, uh, I put a post up and people wanted to see some Python Godot shit, so I figured I'd, um, I don't know, I'm gonna fucking get T. Kinter going in uh, Godot, and then maybe we'll fuck around with some other libraries or something. But, um, so this is uh, the video that I followed by uh, Fine Points CGI for building it. But, I mean, uh, there's really no reason to do that. You don't even have to download it from GitHub or anything. You can just have, like, Godot. I just downloaded this um, straight-up new version of Godot 3.5.1. And so I'll uh, fire that up and bring it on the screen. And I'll say new project. And we'll just say, uh, uh, why don't we call it Python... Uh, fun time and we're gonna create that folder create and edit all right so we got Godot and we can uh, create a 3d scene we uh, create a script and we see we just have the regular native GD and visual script so what we need to do is look, uh, exit out of that uh, we'll go to asset lib and we'll type um, Python it's the Python script, and we will download it. So that's gonna take a minute. All right, and then we'll hit install. It's gonna take another minute. While that's going, I'm going to go here, and let's look up uh, webcam Python library. Open CV. All right, we'll take a look at that right after. Is this ready yet? Oh, no, not yet. Maybe it is. Come on now. Okay, nice. So that's installed. So uh, we still don't have um, the Python thing yet because we need to exit out of the game engine. Uh, isn't there a restart button? No, I guess not. Oh uh, yeah, save and close. Uh, we'll call this first scene.tscn and we'll hit enter. And then uh, we'll close this, close this stuff. And uh, let me go back to Godot 3.5.1, turn that shit up. It's on the other screen again. Um, what do we call that? Uh, Python fun time, there we go. Boy howdy, we sure are having a fun time. At 3.06 in the morning. All right, so now if we make, uh, we go back to our first scene and we go here and we'll uh, we can now make a Python script which is pretty cool so we'll hit create and then we'll do some stuff here so so um, we can just start off by saying print and hello and so then if we run this scene We get hello down here so that's pretty cool and then if you want to use functions uh, hold on no, never mind we're good sorry windows was being a dick all right so we go to def and we have our process function and we have to pass in uh, self and we also have to pass in uh, delta because that's what we're going to be given. And um, we'll just uh, print, uh, I don't know, I, just to see that it happens every, you know, 60 times a second or whatever. It's going to print out way too much text. There we go. So yeah, you have access to that. And, you know, obviously you can just do uh, like def unhandled input and then um, you know you always have to pass in uh, self I think because this is a 
a class. I mean, yeah, basically this is a class. So whenever you're creating a function, you're gonna be passing in that. All right, so to our scene, all I've done is added in a camera and a CSG box just so we have something to look at when the scene starts. What I'm gonna do now is add a button. And uh, when we press that button, we're going to have a signal go to our Python script. So let's actually add um, just a, uh, what do we call it? Yeah, control create. And then to the control, we'll add a button on our text of the button, we'll say, uh, press me. So then we will have our node here, press, connect, and we connect that to our spatial with our Python uh, script. We're going to copy this and then uh, connect it there. And then we'll tab control V on button press def and then we need to add in self and we'll say print we have received a button press all right so we're gonna save and then we'll go back and just uh, run that So I pull this up to the side, I press press me, we're receiving our button press. So it's basically the same as uh, the other ones, just uh, you have to use def instead of funk. And um, yeah, we can even see that it is connected uh, up there, which is pretty cool. All right, so this script here is just demonstrating um, how to connect a signal through code. So we have this button here and we're connecting our pressed signal um, to uh, this function here. So all we have to do is get a reference to our button by saying self.getNode. Uh, so we are node A and we are getting uh, a node on ourselves called button. So once we do that, we then say button.connect, and this is the same as um, just a regular GD script uh, connect. We say pressed because that's what we want to connect to. That's the signal we want to hear from. We say self, meaning that we want to uh, act on ourselves, and then we're saying button pressed because that's the function we want to um, uh, run when we press the button. And we'll just print that out, and we have to pass in self here. So if I run this, we can press our button and we say we press the button. So if you want to use functions like git node, you just have to call it on self. So you can also say like uh, print self.git children and then we print that. Um, we got an array of our children and it's in a wrapper. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that means, um, but I think we can still do, uh, let's just do this. Let's say list equals. And then we'll say um, list dot hide. say set visible equals false actually I think we need to do that so we're saying the first node the first child we have set that uh, set it so we can't see it so we should be able to see our button go so our button's gone so that's one way to do it I also want to try it the other way where we say go here control C and then control V and then we'll say dot visible we access a property Yeah, 
uh, set this one to true. Hey, there we go. So yeah, you can either access the you know uh, function or you can access the property. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now let's use a Python module in um, Godot. So Tkinter comes with Python 3.8, which is what we're running here. So we're just going to say uh, from Tkinter in imports uh, TK, I think it is. And then uh, I copied this from a website. I think it's the fastest way to make a TK window. I haven't done it in a while, so I can't remember. We're gonna get rid of that, and we're just gonna say, um, <laughs> good don't, all right. And then uh, let's run that and see what happens. Okay, so that seemed to work because I have this on this screen. Uh, it's taking forever to load. Maybe it won't. Do we have any errors? Oh no, we loaded. So. We're not getting any input. That's interesting. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, I never tried it with Dekinter. I didn't see, you know, there'd be no point because you could just make another, I guess we wanted another window. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. So now let's um, try and do something maybe a little less stupid. All right, so what I'm gonna try and do is uh, try and get access to my webcam with um, uh, Python. And we're gonna use uh, uh, CV2. Um, I have used this a little bit, but I'm not exactly sure how it works. But this seems to be like the fastest way to do it, so that's what we're gonna do. And I'll just have to adapt this to run in Godot. So I'm gonna copy this, and then we're going to go down here. And, um, well, let me not paste just yet. Uh, let me fix some stuff here. So basically when we press this button, we want to um, open uh, true. So if it's true, make it false. If it's false, make it true. All right, so we just basically got a toggle. And then in our process, uh, actually what we're going to do is declare cam open up here. Uh, control C. We'll um, tab, tab, bring that over here. And we're going to add uh, self dot. And then we need to control C, control V, control V, and control V. And Sorry, my cat is scratching at my chair, which is annoying the hell out of me. Alright, and we need to capitalize these because it's not GD script. So we do that. And then in our process, we need to add some stuff. Um, so if cam open, if self.cam open then we need to uh, get our cam open for reels for real for reels not just for play play um, so let's copy this now it's time time for that bullshit we'll put it in here uh, we can get rid of that yeah I don't think we need that uh, maybe we need the wait key Yeah, no, we don't, we don't fucking need that. Uh, get rid of that. And get rid of that. We're going to put this, control X, and that's gonna go in our process if our cam is open.
Sorry, I got kind of a messed up setup going on here. All right. And then we need to take both these and control X and move them up here. And we're going to uh, tab this one appropriately. And we're gonna say self dot and then self dot. Alrighty, we can get rid of that. We don't need it. Um, this should go here. See what's happening. All right. So then we'll take these. Control X, and we'll put that uh, right here. And this actually is supposed to go down there. All right. Maybe this is going to work. There's a possibility. It won't work yet because we need to import that library. So we'll say import CV2. But uh, we need to pip install that library as well. And this is where it gets kind of interesting. So we'll go here, open file manager, Python script, and we have um, all these different distributions. This is for Linux, this is for Windows 32, we're in Windows 64. So here's like the version of Python that we want to actually uh, run stuff on. So we're going to right click here. Um, open in terminal. All right, so I got my terminal up here and we're going to dot uh, forward slash backslash I can't remember which fucking one it is and then we're going to um, say Python dash M pip install uh, what is it called is it called CV2 pip install open CV Python there we go Copy. No, oh, I didn't remember that. Open CV dash Python. All right. Uh, no module name. Pip. What do you mean? Nice. All right. So you saw that solved in real time, folks. If you don't have, uh, if it gives you that fucking error, you don't have pip, you gotta install pip. So now, 
Now we can install um, open CV Python. I think. Yep. Nice. Alright. So it's not installed on path, which uh, I don't think I want it to be. So now that we have that, let's. Um, I guess we'll give this a go. I'm sure we're going to get an error. Uh, what do we got here? Oh. Wowee. That's pretty cool, isn't it? We got Godot, and uh, we have it running our uh, webcam from my Windows computer. So, I close it, and uh, I believe I still have my window. Maybe I don't. What happens if I press it again? Oh, there we are. We got an error. But, pretty fucking sweet so you know with this you can do all types of things so you could like screen record uh, your um, you know game if you wanted or you know any type of modules at your command so you know really take your pick of what you want to do oh well, we can't close it well we can but it's uh it's coming up um, 60 times a second, so. Wowee.